nucleic acids are a unique group of macromolecules found in the nucleus and ribosomes of eukaryotic cells and in the nucleoid and ribosomes of prokaryotic cells. There are two forms of nucleic acids, deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA, which carries the genetic code in all forms of cells and RNA or ribonucleic acid involved in protein synthesis. The building blocks of nucleic acids are called nucleotides or nucleobases. These molecules consist of three components, a five carbon sugar to which a phosphate group is attached at one side of the molecule and a nitrogenous group is attached to the other side of the five carbon sugar. Nucleotides or nucleobases are the building blocks of DNA and RNA. These molecules consist of three components. Again, a 5-carbon sugar to the 5 carbon number 5 of the sugar, a phosphate group is attached to carbon number 1 of the sugar, a nitrogenous base is attached. A nitrogenous base consist of a ring of carbons and nitrogens. The five carbon sugar can be of two uh, forms. In RNA, the five carbon sugar is called ribose. In DNA, the five carbon sugar is called deoxyribose. The, the uh, base, the nitrogenous base of nucleotides can be of two forms, purines or pyrimidines. Purines consist of two rings of carbons and nitrogens. There are two types of purines found in nucleic acids, adenines and guanines. On the other hand, pyrimidines consist of one ring of nitrogens and carbons. There are three forms of pyrimidines that can be found in nucleic acids. Thymines are unique to DNA. Uracils are unique to RNAs. Cytosines are found in both DNA and RNA. Nucleotides form covalent bonds with each other to make large DNA and RNA molecules. These covalent bonds, created by dehydration synthesis, bring together the sugar bonded to a phosphate group, bonded to a sugar, bonded to a phosphate group, bonded to a sugar. These sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate combination creates the sugar phosphate backbone of DNA and RNA molecules. Notice that the nitrogenous bases are not involved in this sugar phosphate backbone. Instead, they uh, remain to one side of the sugar free from covalent bonding with the backbone of the molecule. Again, DNA and RNA molecules are made when nucleotides covalently bond with each other. Carbon number three of a sugar bonded to a phosphate bonded to carbon number five of the sugar. Carbon three phosphate carbon 5. This is what we call the sugar phosphate backbone 
of nucleic acid molecules. The structure of DNA molecules consists of two chains of sugar phosphate sugar phosphate strands twisted with each other creating a double helix. Notice that the nitrogenous bases from each of the strands face each other and form weak hydrogen bonds with each other. This holds the two strands together. Adenines bonding with thymines through weak hydrogen bonds, guanines bonding with cytosines through weak hydrogen bonds. Double helix formation. Again, the structure of DNA consists of two sugar phosphate backbones wrapped around each other in a helical fashion. The nitrogenous bases from one helix facing the nitrogenous bases from the opposite helix. Adenines bonding with weak uh, hydrogen base uh, bonds, hydrogen bonds to thymines, cytosines bonding with weak hydrogen bonds to guanine. On the other hand, RNA molecules are single-stranded. Ribose is the sugar. The bases are adenine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil. Uracil takes the place of thymine. RNA molecules are generally shorter and they are involved in protein synthesis and they are single-stranded molecules. In addition to making up nucleic acids, RNA and DNA, nucleotides are also the energy currency of the cell. ATP, adenosine triphosphate, GTP, CTP, and TTP can be used by cells as energy molecules. In most instance instances, ATP, adenosine triphosphate, is the preferred energy carrying molecule of cells. ATP consists of a ribose sugar, an adenine base, and three phosphate groups. Notice the curved lines representing unstable bonds between phosphate group number three and phosphate group number two. The unstable bond between phosphate group number two and phosphate group number one. The reason for these unstable bonds are these negatively charged oxygens which repel each other creating unstable bonds between phosphates. This instability is what makes this molecule an energy carrying molecule. These bonds are easily broken in chemical reactions releasing energy. You should now be able to answer the following questions. What are the building blocks of nucleic acids? Name the, name the two types of nucleic acids and differentiate them based on their function, the nitrogenous bases, and pentose sugar. Where in the cell are nucleic acids synthesized? What is the energy currency of cells?